Ohi Courage Award links brave freedom fighters in the world today to the example set by the Greeks in 1941 when they answered the Nazi demand for surrender with a defiant and courageous no. By creating the Ohi Courage Award, they have found a way to give voice to the voiceless and hope to people fighting for freedom in some of the darkest corners of the world. There is no corner of the world today that is darker than North Korea. The fact that there is someone like Ji Sung Ho with so much courage, persistence, fearlessness, and hope conveys a powerful message that the North Korean regime, with all of its nuclear weapons and its brazen threats, will not survive the resistance of its own people and their indestructible humanity. We are joined by one more witness to the ominous nature of this regime. His name is Mr. Ji Sung Ho. Today, he lives in Seoul, where he rescues other defectors and broadcasts into North Korea what the regime fears most, the truth. Your great sacrifice is an inspiration to us all. Please, thank you. Look up at the screen. Six friends of ours who tonight are locked behind bars for the crime of expressing their opinion. What Layla seeks should not be seen as, as anything other than the fundamental right. And yet she is viewed as a traitor and is, as we speak, jailed. Layla, you're on the right side of history. Thank you for your courage. After a year, my mom is still behind the bars and my dad is also behind the bars. It was, it is horrifying here. My mom been beaten in the prison. She doesn't receive medical attention. My dad was subjected to physical torture during the court. Both of them can die anytime. My parents dedicated 30 years of their lives to human rights. I'm very scared for their lives. Today, we honor James Foley with the 2014 Ohi Day Award for his courage and his values in defense of peace, liberty, and freedom. As a frontline journalist, he took on the important job of shining a light on some of the darkest parts of the world. He was a voice for so many who had been silenced, and he fought always to bring us the truth. He represented hope in a time and place of so much despair. I think courage is hard to define. <clears throat> um, I think we all want to be courageous and we think we might be, but you don't know until you are tested. And his life challenges us. We can't let his death be in vain. His life is a model of what a 21st century citizens ought to be. And now it's our turn to model his story, to share it with others.
You know, the thing is, is there's physical courage, right? For some reason, I have physical courage. But really, think about it. That's nothing compared to moral courage. I can go and get those shots. But if I don't have the moral courage to challenge authority, to write about things that are going to maybe have reprisals on my career, if I don't have that moral courage, we don't have journalism. We raise our children to admire that kind of bravery and that kind of courage. We raise them to be the Davids who battle our modern-day Goliaths. We teach them to try to be like Nadia, having every reason to withdraw from the world. We summon the courage to stand up and say, no, no. On behalf of all the women of my life, all the women in this country who endured hardship. Thank you for giving them courage. When I told ISIS no, they threatened me, and who knows, maybe I will pay the price of that. ولكن بالرفض لهم وجدت نفسي إنسانة. But by refusing them, I found humanity in myself.